Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, and we're gonna go into the lift shop, lift stop, Bleh. shop, shop, yeah, it's a shop, for lifts. Alright, um, examine, or, go for it, well, where the hell else are you gonna go, you can do that, except I can't, yeah you can, really, you're telling me you don't remember this trick, target it, gravity, oh, uh, yeah, I don't remember that one, see ya, I did not remember that one at all. Oi. And it's a gummy. I don't want gummies. I want stuff. Gummies are useless we to me right now. We just got, like, AP ups and stuff. I want more. Gummies are actually kind of useless to us right now. Oh, they'll be even more useless when we're done with this world, because... No, there's one more gummy ship level, but it doesn't matter. No, I mean, they'll be even more useless to us because we'll have all the Dalmatians and part of the... Oh, yeah. One of the things you get with the Dalmatians is... A full set of gummies. Yeah. Alright, so... Seems like an overly complicated way to travel around here. Well, Hollow Bastion's not known for, you know, its uh, minimalist design choices. Okay, I obviously can't go that way. There's an invisible wall. Invisible wall. There is a... Uh chest, though, above your head. Force. When in doubt. Ultimate that one's G. actually useful. Kinda. Is that it for here? Yep. Back down. And again with the overly complicated travel system. It's just so enthralling. <laughs> we get a good view of the nothingness that surrounds Hollow Bastion. <laughs> Something like that. Hollow Bastion becomes so much more badass in the second game, though. It does. Because it's not really Hollow Bastion anymore. But, and it also kind of becomes your base of operations for a little while. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun. Mm hmm. Alright. So now we go through now the door we that we the unlocked. <laughs> and I'm gonna hit the... Save point one more time? I'm not gonna save, just I just hit wanna... it. Because gravity costs a fair bit of MP. Yep, alright. Several objects on around the balcony. Light the candles. Gee, I wonder how you do that. Just fire everything. Pretty sure there's at least one more. This makes me feel like maybe you missed one on the other side. Fire! Quite possibly. But I mean... But it's a circle, so it's kind of hard to fuck it up. And there's a trinity. Do we want to hit that first? Um... Or do I want to hit... No, I think you want to keep going. Fire! See ya! And yeah, I think there's one... And... Run clockwise to find a stone with a thunderbolt on it. I was actually hoping for items, but that popped out. Alright, so... Let me guess, cast thunder on it? Yes. I can't. Because you don't have any MP. No, I have MP. I'm just... Too far away? Yeah. We'll try getting... around the other side. It says run clockwise, so I'm just, you know... Going on a limb here. So it says there's a stone with a thunder emblem on it. So you've got to be able That was it. To... Yeah. Unless... I mean, that's the only one I can target, but I can't do anything with thunder from here. You're not targeting that. You're targeting the thing in the middle. Okay, hang on. Here. It looks like it's like on a little ledge like this kind of thing. 
You mean... Maybe that, that? one? Yeah. And that opens. All the targetable things actually kind of suck here. Grab the emblem piece from oh. the middle. It moves. You, you have to jump onto it, sweetie. Emblem piece, and then to where? Jump and glide back to the balcony. Okay. Go to that uh, statue with the thingy. Oh, mighty one, prove your strength by me. Not that one. No? Wait, hang on. Try, yeah, try that. Keep... Okay. Okay. Now what? We did that. We did that already. Okay. Use the red trinity mark. And we're gonna push that down and break stuff. Before you go to the bottom to okay. get all your pieces, it says to go back to the library and step on the save point to get your MP. Okay. Because <laughs> apparently you're gonna want it. Oh, fun. Whenever a strategy guy tells you, you want MP. That, um. Uh, that doesn't bode well. No, it doesn't. Alright, so down you go. Down, Sora. There's one. The one that's in the fountain is two. And then there's the chest. And the chest is on the other side. So that's all of them, right? Yep. <clears throat> now you know what to do with them. Gotta put them in the door. What, pray tell, will happen here? Piece by piece. Hmm. Gotta love the Heartless logo. Actually, all the emblems for this game are actually pretty cool. Why? It was mine. Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. Long enough for you to lose it. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart your being become darkness itself. Because when a cloaked figure tells me that, I instantly take that advice. Yep. Sounds a good idea to me. That is so, exactly uh, what I want to you're, do. You're uh, gonna fight. Hey, look! Oh, and wizards. Um, those could be fun. They're really dangerous. Where did he go? There he is. Alright. Three sets of enemies, so... Why would you teleport just to materialize in the exact same spot where you left? I hate you with a burning passion. Those things suck. And you killed it in two hits. Have you've seen what my current? I don't think stand. that's all of it. I think you got one more. I think this is 
Well, is this the right way? Yeah, it is. It is? Let's go down into the thingy and thing. Because I think there should be one more set of baddies. As it were. <laughs> Since we need all the items we can get. Sora is a god! I remember the first time we did this, and this sucking really hard because we didn't have. Either we weren't this high a level, or we didn't have as much. I still hate those fucking things. Um. We hadn't used all the AP ups or something. There was something else going on. I mean, how was that? Oh my God! It's that thing. The gargoyles. These are all those. of the things that shortly will be begin dropping all of the high end items that we need to synthesize. We have. Alright, yeah. Are you sure this is? Cause yeah. This, that's taking me to the castle gates. I don't want to go to the castle gates. This is back out. This is the main room. Yes, you're supposed to go up there. And yeah, I was supposed to go in here, but when it brought us up, it was the wrong way. So we need to go here, and then... Where are we going now? Examine the red crystal to turn it blue. To your upper level. To rise to the level above, examine the crystal near the door. Yeah, so all that fighting that we did outside was... It was just to get... XP. I, I was trying for items and XP, but that... It says okay. to do the fights first. Use Gravira! Gee. Force! Force! Oracal come. We've got more than enough Oracal. Alright, so you're gonna go back. Back down. You're gonna switch it again. This place is just so much fun. Isn't it? And then you're gonna use it again. It's just backtracking. There's a lot of that here. I can kill you in two hits! You mean nothing to me! Down to the waterway? Yep. Fight off the defender and wizard enemies, then jump onto the platform to the right. I mean, obviously we want to take every chance we have to kill these guys. Well, that was fantastic. Oh, doesn't matter! You're gonna need to go back up there, though. I don't think that's the right area. <laughs> Although this is where that blue Trinity mark is. If you and there's a treasure chest. Want to go ahead and you, these are the float G's that we can't carry. Oh yeah. Get the blue Trinity mark and move on. <laughs> no Trinity. <laughs> Alright, so now... Back on the platform. Alright, so where am I going? That one. That one? To the lift stop! Alright, and I take it, I use the red crystal? Because, uh, I mean, there's yes. really nothing else to do here. Seriously? Mithril. Okay. Okay, what? go back. Let me guess, I gotta go down into the dungeon. This is right back to the entrance. Not there. You've already done what it says to do there. Go back to the... yeah. Backtrack! Backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. Yes. And then when you get back up there, rather than changing the crystal again, just go past it. Out that open gateway thing. There's an open gateway? Yeah, that big gaping hole in the wall over there, past the other crystal. Oh. 
To the castle gates. Come on. Don't fall. <laughs> Listen for Goofy. Don't fall. Fire. You mean Donald? <laughs> well, Goofy yeah. fell first. Alright, yeah. Fire is next to useless against you guys. I hate basically, that dive bomb. You basically have to wait until they dive bomb you and then just attack them. Thunder. There we go. Alright, All right. so it's this. Blue crystal, red crystal. Defeat the enemies here. When the coast is clear, head around. Activate the shimmering red crystal. Red crystal. Okay. Use Gravira. Apparently there's a chest somewhere. This causes the platform to move overhead, but you can reach it. Yeah, because it says to do that before you. Look over behind you. Yeah! Platform in your face. You that? that one? It can't be that one. Yeah, I can't reach that one from here. I can't even target that one from here. Get on the platform and see what happens. Woo! <sighs> Damn it! I was doing really good of not <laughs> falling off it until Sora fell off. Alright, so... Uh, on the upside, this takes us back to the main castle gate. That's an upside? Well, kind of, because there's all sorts of fun enemies to kill! Kill the obnoxious enemies before we kill the worthwhile enemy. Oh, I thought they are giving me 12 XP now. Alright. The unfortunate thing is that now you literally have to go all the way back through the castle to get back out. And that, boys and girls, is why you don't fall off the platform if you can avoid it. Yeah. I could try to jump. Thunder! Thunder! I mean, I could try. I've had worse decisions in life. You sure? Yes. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah. We'll backtrack a little bit more, because it's all backtracking. Well, it wouldn't be if you hadn't fallen off. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen you made that. <laughs> I'm totally just giving you hell, you know it. All right. Just go. It's not worth it right now. Yeah, I don't think they can, they're can. they dropping anything right now. Hi, Axis. Yes, you are totally in my face. Because it's like... It's 45 minutes to food. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 45 minutes to food. Alright, um... All right. gonna, well, I can't skip You can't it. skip, because you have to... Just stay in a spot where you're easily, you know, manageable. Spot that's easily manageable, you say? Well, you know, you do have to give them a way to get to you, though. I wonder where. I was about to say, where is it? Fire! Come on! Eat ground! Flying enemies tend to be very susceptible to gravity. Alright, so we're gonna wait for it to come back, and I'm gonna jump on it when it's over. Ground! Good plans. And we're going to hope I don't screw this up again. I'm just going to go around in circles, and I don't think I have enough magic for gravity. Do you have an ether or something? You can jump on that platform right there, is what you're supposed to do. Or maybe you've got a cottage or something you can use. Ta-da! Problem solved. Alright. You! Come down here. 
Alright, and... It's kind of an important one, too. Or I wouldn't have made such a fuss about it. 94, 95, and 96. Alright, so I'm gonna get back on to this main section, and yep. then we'll go ahead and end this episode, because we're at 20 minutes. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, we will be back in just a few moments. Well, actually, for you, it may be a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, till then, later, everyone. <laughs>